guys. <clears throat> okay, so I was compelled to do a reading. And every time I talk to my best friend and I tell her these things, she tells me things that are related to it and, and pretty much confirms what's happening with me, or at least it helps me put things in perspective. Now, she mentioned, hi, Sarah, that she was having a hard time right now and the lights went off, ding, 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 it's a test. Then I suddenly realized that I had just gone through that test myself. And then like even beginning last week, I spoke with somebody and uh, she was very upset about something. So I sent her a message asking her, are you upset about blank? And she went, oh no, what happened to, what, what happened to this? Did blah, blah, blah. And I went, oh, oh God, I could choke myself. I, um, I felt like a complete ass. Like I made things worse, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't something that I shouldn't have told her. She needed to know this anyways, but it couldn't have come at a worse time because she was getting hit hard and heavy at the moment. And then um, <clears throat> there's several people, different people I listen to. Um, there's some clairvoyants that I watch, some numerologists, astrologists, and tarot readers that I watch. I have my own that, that I prefer and that I love. And they come up with a lot of, same, of the same messages that I do. I mean, I'll think about it or something will happen to me and I'll come to realizations. And then I go and I watch their videos and they're coming up with the same messages. So, I mean, it, it, it's a check. I definitely check myself against them, but I don't watch them and take from them. Everybody, all of us light workers, we have our own methods and we are not supposed to be following anybody else well, in their methods of expression anyways. We do things individually because we're supposed to be walking, um, walking in our truth and expressing ourselves as we are so if you're expressing yourself like someone else you're not fully expressing yourself so a couple things i wanted to touch on um the number three has been coming up a lot lately and i'm not just talking about the repeating numbers um for me the repeating numbers have been ones twos threes and fours okay i mean one two three four and then we have two fours three fours four fours Six four is a dollar. But anyways, there's um, a lot of repeating numbers, and for me, it's been mostly one, two, three, four. And I did, I did see a five, five, five yesterday. Um, but I, I feel like it, it's a twin flames and light workers activation. So I'm, I'm not just an intuitive, um, sensitive. I'm also a twin flame. So it's like I get two different activations but they work together and each element of that helps helps the other one be better like um my intuitivity helps me in my relationships more and my um i completely forgot what i was talking about okay well i guess i'll have to wait till the video ends to <laughs> finish watching it but um anyways the number three kept coming back to me and three in numerology it's joy creativity um it's a spiritual number it can also mean a pregnancy of some sort and in the tarot deck it's the empress that is number three and she represents creativity and fertility the beginning of things um the womb for the seed the beginnings of ideas the birth of something, even a child, pregnancy, um, growth, um, let's see, the, the intuitiveness also too, even though that's the, uh, that's the other card. But the thing about the Empress and the threes, I kept, not only did I kept seeing three, but I kept thinking three. Now, my name is Trishika, so I'm already a number three, and then when I do my numerology, my life destiny number is three, which is doing what I'm doing. The cards, the astrology, the numerology, um, it is the psychic's number, and well, that would be me. <laughs> so anyways, I realized that this is the third person I know of that's been going through this trial, and she said to me, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? What is this karma for? What did I do? And, and then it dawned on me, you didn't do anything. This is a period of testing. The universe is testing you right now. 
it's giving you these tests because you are about you need to perform under uh, under pressure it wants to see if you're still living in gratitude and if you are doing the work and you've learned how to take it in surrender to the universe ground yourself then you're open to receive so this is what's happening right now i i mentioned to her it took me three days and on the the first day i was so freaked out my energy was messed up the second day i could hardly sleep i was a nervous wreck i couldn't focus for shit i could not focus on anything okay girl i couldn't even focus on playing video games how's that okay so by the third day i woke up and i was just i started filling with energy and the first thing i thought is i can do this that was the first thought in my head um i'd lost my dog he disappeared for two days and on the third day I woke up in the morning and I said, I'm going to find him. And that was my faith in the universe kicking in, okay? Knowing that what is meant to be yours will always be yours. It will come back to you. So that third day, I actually I came to work and I sat here for a little bit and I was so pumped with energy and I said to myself, I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him. I know I'm going to find him. And I came to work with that take charge attitude and I posted and reposted everything again and then I said universe I'm gonna give this to you I know if he's meant to be my dog we will be reunited and then I had to put on a, a meditation file put my headphones on and I meditated for about half an hour I sat here and I held my big beautiful uh, rose quartz here and I meditated for about an hour I closed the store and tried my best to ground myself okay when it was done i immediately pulled a couple cards just to do an energy check and it was right on so i was like yeah sweet and uh i was actually able to function after that and, and i have to admit i usually try and and make my calendar to do my horoscopes on mondays and tuesdays and boy i couldn't get nothing done previous to that but i was able to sit down after i meditated <clears throat> and grounded excuse me and I was able to get the entire week um, calendar uh, translated. <laughs> that, that is looking at the charts and putting down the symbols on my calendar for translation and um, explanation later. So I actually was able to sat down, sit down and I did the entire week's uh, calendar. And when I was done, and, and I had to pee, but I wouldn't get up until I was done because I only had two, two last days. So. I'm sitting here doing the shishi dance and stuff, making my calendar, and the, the minute I got up, I went to go use the bathroom, and I walked through the bar, and I ran into some friends that I hadn't seen for a while. Now, they were leaving, and I walked up to them, said hi, gave, you know, gave the hugs, gave the loves, said, asked how they were doing, and told them all about my dog being missing, and uh, the... I feel like I'm gonna find him. I did not have any bad vibrations regarding it. You know, that sick feeling you get in your pit of your stomach? I didn't have it. Um, I actually couldn't even feel him. So it was almost like he was, I knew he was taken out of the end, uh, the area because I could not sense his energy at all. But I wasn't getting a bad feeling like he was dead or you know something bad had happened to him. Now, just as I, right after I got done telling them about the dog, I'm standing there and my Facebook notification goes off. And guess what? It's somebody who just posted a picture of my dog at the store down the road. Um, I don't have a vehicle, so being able to get to wherever when my dog was found was going to be an issue. But like I said, PTV, the powers that be, the universe saw to it that I was talking with some friends who happened to be leaving pretty much at that moment that came in. So they actually turned to me and said, looks like we're supposed to be here to help you get your dog. And I was like, ding, all right. I, mean, I was just like, oh my God, we gotta go. And I hopped in the car and uh, we went and we got him. And I tell you that, that that bugger, he was almost gone because he doesn't let nobody get near him. That's my boy. Um, if you call him, he will run the other way. <laughs> so anyways, that's what, that's what ended up happening. And I ended up chasing after him I had just missed him, and, but he'd ran towards the highway, and I was freaking out. 
So I ran all the way towards the highway, fastest I ever run in my damn life ever, and, and I was hurting for a couple days after that because I, I never had that much burst of energy. Um, not that I ran for my life, but I ran for his. Hold on. When I finally got to him, my dog had crossed the highway, okay, and was standing in front of the police station. And had I been just a few seconds later, he would have been out of earshot. I was screaming for him, and, and it, this could have turned out so badly. I mean, I would have had to go back, get my friends, have them have me chase him down the uh, highway, in which case he would have ran, or he could have ran into traffic, and it could have ended really, really badly, but it didn't. I was able to get to him, he ran to me, he waited in the middle of the highway to cross the road, and it looked like the cars actually slowed down and let him get across to me. So I was reunited with my baby, yay. But it was really, really hard for three days and I had to surrender. I had to surrender to the universe and then I had to ground myself and not two hours later it happened for me, okay? So there's a thing with the threes. I, um, everybody is getting tested right now. You're being tested by the universe. They wanna see if you can handle. Are you the right one? Are you ready to receive your downloads, okay? Because if you aren't, you're not gonna get them, okay? We are us light workers and intuitives and sensitives. Get ready uh, for a boost to your powers. And that's what this test is all about. It's to see if you're living in gratitude, okay? You, not just practicing, but living and, and actively every day. If you manage to incorporate it into your everyday thing, you know, something happens, shit hits a fan, what do you do? There's pressure to perform, right? They wanna see if If you are up for the, if you are up to the challenge for this upgrade, okay. So another thing too, I want to talk about, um, just touch on for a second. <laughs> well, there's a couple other things, but cockroaches. Now, I know gross, ooh, but um, the last week I've been seeing a lot of cockroaches, and they've either been dying or dead, and. I'm seeing it everywhere and it's not just a bug problem it's not an infestation problem but I almost feel like that's that's just a signal about the test too like like the bottom feeders are coming out and they're getting killed they're dying off because their kind of energy is no longer useful in this ship um, that the consciousness and the collective excuse me the collective consciousness is experiencing okay and then the last thing I wanted to just tell you really, really quick. Um, oh yeah, I mentioned that the three is the card of the Empress and um, there's a lot of in intuitivity and um, psychic awareness linked to that. So, you know, therefore the test, the three day test, that's what I feel like that number three keeps telling me it's for three days. You're gonna suffer for three days, but you have to, this is a final test before you receive your psychic powers. And there's a lot of uh, tele, blank fill in the blank telekinesis um <laughs> telekinesis clear um clear audience uh clairvoyance all those clairs and teles are about to get boosted okay and so when i was talking to my girlfriend this morning i was actually on messenger facebook messenger okay today is saturday it is august 4th and it was around 122 when i was messaging with her and then i messaged her something and all of a sudden the time in the day switch and I sent her like three messages in a row, you know, uh, one a couple of seconds after the other. So the first message, and, and I just happened to look back at it, it registered as Sunday, 12-12. Okay, and then the very next comment that was sent like within 10 seconds said Sunday, 12-22. And I was like, whoa, what the hell? Um, so I uh, flipped down my my what do you call it, the screen thing on the on the phone and it says Saturday 122 and I went, what? <laughs> and I, fl I flipped it back up and I looked at my messenger and then I noticed not only were the times wrong but the day was wrong, it says Sunday. So I'm wondering if something, some kind of activation is gonna happen on Sunday between, between 1212 and 1222. There's definitely 
something that's going to happen. Um, the fact that I was getting the messages, date, and, and it was dated for tomorrow when my phone was correct. So, ooh. not that it's spooky, but I got goosebumps like, ooh, messages. All right, so I felt compelled to do a reading and for the first time, I'm gonna pull a couple of cards from these other decks that I have. Now, this one that I have, this one that I use all the time, it is called The Enchanted World by Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. And at first these cards, um, I didn't really like them, but they've really, really grown on me. And I am so, uh, they're, like, they're like my best friend. I, they really, truly resonate with me. And I love the imagery. It, it just, I mean, the fact that they're mostly purple, just, they're supposed to be my cards. <laughs> I hadn't accepted them at first, but they are. They're my cards, okay? And then the second deck, I have the traditional uh, Rider Waite Smith deck. And then my third deck, uh-oh, I'm messing up. The third deck is called the Parrot deck by Thomas and Margaret Parrot. Now, they, with that particular deck, um, they came up with four new cards. They thought that Chiron deserved its own cards, and it's about the healer or the teacher. Okay, so I kind of call that like my healing deck, even though I never used it. So we're going to pull a couple cards from them today and see how goes it. Okay, so Ascension check. What the hell is going on? Are you going to pass your test? Ascension test. Where are we at in our Ascension? Oh. Don't be throwing cards at me. I'm getting cards thrown at me. Okay, we'll go through this deck one more time. Anything else from this deck? Because I got two other decks. Okay, a third time. Last time to get the messages out. Anything else? And there's no format to this. I'm just reading the cards as we pull them because this is basically a, an ascension check because a lot of people are wondering what the hell is going on. You know, like I was saying earlier, my girlfriend was like, what did I do? Did I do something, something wrong? And I said, no, no, well, calm down. It's a test. You're being tested to how you're going to react and process these situations. That's why the heat's being put on you. Wow, okay, so, Eight of Swords reverse, that is not being able to make a decision, or you can't make a decision, or you have made a decision, and you're no longer in contemplation of a decision. Let's see how this rolls out. Um, first of all, I'm going to tell you, there is an extraordinary amount of air energy so that's a lot of mental work a lot of thinking but also at the same time ha most of it is thinking wow but then this is supposed to be for ascension but it always turns out like a like a twin flames reading i have uh three major arcanas and two heart cards and then the top cards are all swords <laughs> which is frame of mind um Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords Reverse. Okay, so I, I already touched on the Eight of Swords and with the making decisions and not being able to or something's keeping you from making a decision or you need to wait to make a decision because you don't have all the facts yet, okay? Three of Swords. Three of Swords, three of swords is reverse. So a lot of you who had some sorrow or experienced some sorrow, that sorrow is now gone or you didn't experience that sorrow because you were tested in, in other ways. Um, you were being asked to step up. And then, like I said, some, for some of you, you've done the work, so you no longer have that feeling of sorrow. You let, let go of previous attachments, and 
since this is a Twin Flames reading, this, I feel this has to be attachments to past relationship, okay? We're going to try and live in the present and not treat this person according to traumas that we've experienced in previous relationships, okay? We also have the Ace of Swords, which is new beginnings, and um, it's recognition. Recognition, you're finally being given recognition for for your contributions to the relationship. Um, previously, that was an issue, but now they're starting to, your partner is starting to realize how valuable you truly are. And this is causing a new beginnings in the brain cycle. I mean, brain cycle. <laughs> in, in the way he thinks. Okay, and the King of Swords. King of Swords is decisive action, okay? And that goes right along with the Eight of Swords being upside down. So what happened is a decision has been made and that's what the Eight of Swords is representing. There is actually a decision made, you see? Indecision and decision next to each other. You definitely come to a conclusion. Now hold on, I have somebody in the store. Just a minute. Okay, sorry about that guys. I had to do an inventory intake. Okay, so the indecision and the decision. Okay, we're um, at first, when I looked at the first card, I said either you haven't made a decision yet or you can't make a decision, but Apparently, it was telling me that you didn't make a decision because you didn't have all the information, and then apparently, it led you to make a decision. <laughs> okay, yeah, decisive action. Um, you absolutely decided on something. It was saying at first that you couldn't, you didn't decide, which is good because you cannot rush timelines, everything in divine timing. You had to let it be, you had to surrender and go with the flow. Okay, so we also have the Princess of Swords here, which is some kind of message, um, ideas. You, that's interesting. I mean, not that it's interesting, but we are getting ready to have, Uranus is about to go retrograde and there's gonna be a lot of innovation, a lot of ideas. Um, and with the partial solar eclipse in Leo, that's also going to be about ideas and recognition. So it's obvious that the sun and all the Leo transits that are going on is having a huge effect on this shift of consciousness. And, excuse me, everything that's going on right now, your status is about to improve. Um, Yeah, your, your status is about to improve. These are two cards of recognition. Um, you're definitely going to be in the spotlight. You completely decided who you were and you're freely expressing yourself now. Um, no hesitation. No ifs, ands, or buts. You are who you are and you're living it. Okay. Um, however, there is some kind of, a cycle has not come to an end. There has not been an end to something in particular. Um, I did a reading, I did the bi-monthly reading, and I think that has to do with the divine males and the twin flame relationship still being a block because he's not completely caught up vibrationally to the female. So it hasn't quite come to an end yet. So even though this isn't a relationship, I think right now you're about to focus or you're focusing on your money elements. And that's true in the horoscope too. It's all going towards the money elements. Don't forget to balance, take care of your home life too. Um, you are working on that balance. So the cycle has not ended yet, but it will. You have the 10 of hearts here which signifies completion of some kind and success. Um, hmm, let's look at the numbers here. We got three, eight, one, 13, 17, zero. A lot of new beginnings. 
trusting in the universe. Okay, so <coughs> where'd I leave off? With the Ten of Hearts, you're gonna be successful and you're gonna have a lot of confidence as you, you are being recognized. And this is actually, this is probably gonna turn into the financial abundance or it's gonna turn into the relationship that, that you were wishing for. It's not happened yet, it's gonna happen. Um, as I speak, today is August 4th. So we still have a couple things happening. Let me double check my transits here going on. Uh, I do my calendar according to Hawaii time. So when I do my horoscopes, this is according to the stars in Hawaii. Okay, so we have tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the sun squaring Jupiter, Venus in Libra, uh, Tuesday Uranus retrograde, and let's see, on Wednesday 8-8, eight, eight, um, big, big day. Uh, the sun is also conjunct Mercury that day also. So we've got a lot of sun transits, a lot of energy going towards recognition and ideas and success, being confident. Um, Healthy self-esteem is, is, is a huge thing, okay? So we have the star card. So it's possible that you're dealing with an Aquarius and because the star is representative of the Aquarius, but the star is also a wish card. So make a wish because it's about to be granted. And that's, du that's double confirmed with the Ten of Hearts, the Prince of Hearts, and the Fool, okay? Because... And I'll get to the fool in a second, but the Prince of Hearts is a message of love. And it's either the heart has something in it already. So this is this is a, a message of love from somebody that you're either already with or you're in for twin flames, you might or might not be in separation, but this message is a message of love from them. Um, if you're not in a relationship, this is a message of love and nurturing support from a friend, a family member, or somebody that you love, okay? And we also have the fool, which is like the new beginnings, okay? Being independent, marching to the beat of a new drum. It's also the beginning of a new major cycle, which we know all the karmic contracts have been closed out already, and karma is almost immediate, okay? This is for good and bad karma, for people with the bad karma, they're getting it right away. Good. <laughs> and for those of you with um, good karma, well, it looks like you're going to have to go through that test, that three-day test, in order to receive your psychic gifts, the, the upgrade for your psychic gifts. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put on that side. And we're going to go to the next deck. Right away, Smith. Oh, big cards, not used to it not used to dealing with the big deck of cards and that's probably part of the reason why I like my other decks so much because they are card sized, regular playing card sized. These are big fat ones. Okay, so we'll shuffle them three times and ask the cards to confirm my initial reading for the ascendance. For the ascending, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, confirm my, uh, confirm for my ascending partners what's going on with their transformation. Okay, well immediately that one wanted to turn over and that is the Ten of Wands, reverse, very nice. Um, a block is being removed or a block has been removed or a block is no longer standing in your way. Beautiful, okay, what else, what else you got? What's going on with the ascension? Confirm for me. Okay, so we have here, we have the Knight of Cups reversed, the Moon, and Strength. Okay, Knight of Cups reversed, did... You are still waiting on that message of love. Um, it hasn't come yet, but... Not everybody gets their message of love right away. I know the Twin Flames were slated for a reunion. Um, it was on the dockets last month, but it's really just the beginning because what happens is it's pretty much according to people's natal chart. So it comes in waves as um, whatever degree it's at, uh, 
think Venus is at in your natal chart. Um, right now, like for mine, starting today, I have Venus is sextiling my natal Neptune. So there's soul union for me. And it's supposed to start today from the 4th. And it's for five days. When I looked at my partner's one, his starts tomorrow, but he has this exact same transit. And it's definitely a generational thing because we're all born around uh, with Neptune in about the same area. He's 69, I'm 70. So those of you approximately around my age, something like, um, I would have to go and check when um, the transits of Neptune, I can't read it right off the bat. For approximately those of you who are somewhere around 45, 50, uh, between 45 and 50, there's, um, there's gonna be a lot of soul unions among that age group. Okay, so you haven't received that message of love yet, but the opposition, that block, that burden has been set down. You've surrendered it to the universe, but this will be coming. That message of love will be coming, okay? Don't you worry about it. The, uh, the Knight of Cups is, is a, a charming person, okay? That's bringing you a message of, about love, okay? So you should be getting that soon because this is telling me that your blocks and your burdens have been set down, okay? Whatever was hindering you before is no longer in the way, okay? And once again, double confirmation, the moon, okay? Um, information is coming to the surface, okay? Nothing can be hidden uh, anymore. Everything's being exposed. I mean, frenemies are being exposed. Cheaters are being exposed. And at the same time, what's also being exposed is expressions of people, um, expressions of love um, is coming, is reaching the light. The moon is represents the subconscious and it's hidden things. And in these transits that we are in and in our stage of our ascension, we can no longer keep silent. We have to express our truths. And this is what this is saying, okay? Maybe that's what the burden that laid down was, is the expression of truth. Maybe this offer of love will be this expression of truth, but this still has yet to happen, okay? You also have the strength card, which is brave heart, um, compassionate, ruling with love. You know, rather than, rather than ruling with fear, uh, some kind of subversive tactics, uh, that, that's, that's like manipulation, okay? You are, you are the empress. <laughs> you are the empress, okay? You rule with love. You have a certain firm hand, but you're kind and you're compassionate about it because that's just who you are at your core. You are love. And when you're walking in your truth, that's what you do is you radiate love, right? And that's what uh, also the moon could be uh, illuminating, illumination. You're, you're glowing, you're glowing because you're conquering, you're overcoming these burdens. More cards, ascension process. Hmm, three of cups reversed. What's up with the reverse? Not quite joyous yet. Hmm. hmm, okay, so what it's telling me, don't celebrate yet. Don't celebrate yet. You're waiting for that message to come. Okay, but the Three of Cups reverse is saying you're not celebrating yet. Um, three of Cups is joy. Uh, celebrating with friends, social connections, you know, have a party, but it's reversed. So don't count your chickens yet. I'm not gonna tell you to hold your breath, but I'm just saying it's not time to celebrate yet. Keep doing what you're doing and concentrate. Okay, I vaccinated 50 is over and I saw them. Okay, so I'm gonna stop already. <laughs> That's too many cards, I don't wanna look at it anymore. Okay, so. Also, too, your manifestation portal is reversed, okay, which means there's definitely still something you have to come to terms with, some kind of block that you need to clean up, okay? Page of Pentacles, a message about money. Um, you may be getting a promotion or 
you may be more recognized in what you are doing or becoming more well known. The five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Um, I think these ones are more confirmation for the twin flames that are not in union right now. Okay, these things haven't manifested, but you're working on it. You've still been left out in the cold. You're still feeling a little defeated, but you don't have to, okay? It's just a testing period. This is just a test. Everything is temporary, including feelings, okay? So just know, surrender, give it to the universe, ground yourself, find something physical to do, and everything you need to go, you need to have, everything that you need will come to you, okay? Now the Hierophant, the Hierophant is Oh boy, okay, somebody is, somebody is having a little bit of trouble here. Now, when you come to conclusions, this is telling me that you're not sharing your information. Whatever you've learned, you're not, help, you're not passing on the messages that you're getting. You're, not, you're keeping your tools to yourself. Um, why is that? Why are you? Oh, okay, you may be keeping your tools to yourself. Those twin flames that are in separation that left out in the cold. Um, it doesn't look like you've had the chance to communicate this. Maybe that's what this moon is, something that hasn't been communicated, made, waiting for a message. Um, you're not in union with your twin flame right now. Therefore, you're not there to help him heal, to pass on your tools to help him. Okay, so the moon okay so we've got justice okay i'm gonna put justice on the moon just because justice is all about the truth being free to walk your path expressing your truth and with the moon it's the subconscious so really all these messages that's what um there needs to be an expression of you're still waiting on that expression of love um commitment yeah, not quite committed yet. You're halfway there. You're you're in the process of it, but the commitment hasn't come yet. Even though you want it and they want it, it's not being expressed. You are, however, doing pretty damn good at work um, <laughs> with this message of money coming through. The Hierophant. And the Hierophant is the teacher, the healer. Um... With, with the Hierophant being upside down, I almost feel like your guide, your, your guide has disappeared. And I think it's because it's in your three day testing period. Okay, that's what I'm feeling off of that. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentac Pentacles is an authoritative man, financially stable and very secure with the page of pentacles so maybe this help that you're getting this message about money is going to come from somebody wealthy okay so nine of cups upside down um you're not fulfilled yet because there's still something you need to do now these activations that we're getting after the three days after we pass the test it's only going to happen if you're doing what you love it's only going to happen if you're speaking the truth expressing yourself Put down the burdens, and then you can walk through that manifestation portal and really start to uh, start your alchemy. Okay, manifest, manifest like a motherfucker. Okay, and this last one is one, two, three, four, four pentacles. Um, this is retreating. Uh, it's telling you take a vacation. Okay. Um, my translation. Give me a 